everybody. It's time to put all of the girls to bed. The first thing to note is they are currently still in the garage. We're building the coop for them this weekend so that the bigger babies can head on out and then we'll just have the little ones still inside. So to train the big babies to go into the coop at night, I have been giving them a small little treat right as I usher them and kind of coerce them into the coop and then I shut them up for the night just so that they get the hang of it because that's where I want them to do when we go outside. So right now I am going to give them each their good night treats and turn out the lights for the evening. So today my ducks have made a huge mess. They have a large Easter bucket full of water that we've been using here in the garage with them the last couple of days because we had a frost. We needed to bring them back inside for a couple of nights and they have made a huge mess. So the first thing I'm going to do so that they don't have to sleep on wet bedding is I am going to give them some good fresh bedding. That means I'm going to have to let them free roam in the garage for a few minutes while I change out the bedding for them in their area. They're not in an actual enclosement. I just kind of have them blocked off right now because it was just for an overnight situation. And they will be going back out again tomorrow because the weather is going to be good. So I will be back in a few minutes after I clean up their bedding area. And I will tell you a little bit about how I give them their good night treats. Okay, so when I'm cleaning up their area, I wanna point out a couple things to you. First of all, I wanna show you what I've been using with water because they go through so much water. A couple times a day, I'm coming out and I'm changing out this bucket of water. Now, this is about half of the day. It was all the way full and nice and clean. And as you can see, it is very low and that water is nasty. They have gotten bored and so their water has gotten very nasty today. I'm going to be very excited to put them back outside where they have a little more to do out there and hopefully they won't make their drinking water so nasty. So I will be changing that out. Also, I had to clean up all of the wet bedding where they had dumped all of that water. And what I'm using for that is one of these soft squeegees. Now this one's kind of dirty because I literally was just using it. So I'm not gonna show it all the way up, but it's one of those foam ones. It's one of those foam ones that will go across the uneven surfaces. And I have found that it moves the water well. And I just use it similar to how you would use a push broom. And I just move all of that wet bedding over. Right now I'm moving some dry bedding where the big chickens have kind of thrown it out of their enclosure. And I will be putting it back in because it's clean. So I will just push it back under their fence. All right, so let me put down some dry bedding for the ducks and change out their water and I will be right back. So what I'm using for the ducks bedding is just a big fistful of hay. Um, actually this one is, this is straw. But normally I would want to use hay, but in this case, since it's just gonna be in the garage for the night, I'm gonna go ahead and use the straw. It will give them an area to just kind of make somewhere to nest in for the night and cuddle up because they like to sleep cuddled right up next to each other. My daughter is getting the clean water. I will be right back and show you what we're going to do with that. So let me introduce you to one of my girls. This is Kaylee. And we're pretty sure that she is a uh, Cayuga and not a black runner, just because she doesn't do any of the standing up. And her feathers already have that iridescent green to them out in the sun. She's being a very good girl right now. She's a little scared though. She is, we're estimating about seven weeks old. And she's being very good for me right now. Yes, you are. Just a second and I'll bring back Mal and introduce you to her. And here we have Mal. And as you can see, she has already gotten into the straw and done a little bit of nibbling to check it out and see what it's like. She is 
a little skittish as well right now. As you can tell, she's probably a mallard female. Her feathering is coming in really beautiful. <laughs> she is pretty happy and wants to get back down to her water right now. So let me go ahead and set her back down and I'll show you how we're going to give her, give them their good night treats. As you can see, the girls have already gotten really excited about their water. And I am going to give them just some cut up greens as their snack for the night, just some simple cut up greens. And I'm actually going to float it in their water for them. And they really enjoy eating it. So let's go ahead and watch them eat for just a couple minutes. They love this as a good night treat. And they will clean that water right back out. There's some more girls. All right. Now tomorrow I'm going to have to do a thorough clean of this area, but I just wanted to get it tidied up enough for them to be comfortable for the night. And now it is time to give the treat to the big girls, my hens. So with my big girls, I had to put in a little cage enclosure and they of course could fly out. So I've kind of tricked them a little bit. They could get out, but they don't realize it. And I just did that by clipping one of my flat sheets up on top so that they don't realize that they can jump out and that is buying me that extra day or so to get this coop built for them they have already put themselves to bed they're already up on the roost that i have in there so i am going to go ahead and move on to our biggest babies our teenage chickens now, because I am trying to train them to go up into the coop at night, I am actually going to give them their treats up in the coop instead of down on the floor where they would normally roam. I have also went ahead and put their food and water up in the coop for the night just to further entice them so that they'll get up there and actually go into the coop fairly well. This is my fourth night doing this with them. And the last two nights, they've gone in pretty well. So we shall see how they do tonight. So they're going to, currently they're hiding down over in this corner, and they're going to go up this ramp and right into that coop right there. So I have their treat plate and bowl right there on top, ready to go. And then I also have one of these extra long stir sticks just in case I need to gently get them out of that far corner over there that I cannot reach. All right, let me see if I can set the camera somewhere and you can watch the procession and see how they do. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and give them my good night call and put the treats up into the house. usually really difficult. Come on girls, let's go to bed. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's go to bed. Come on, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Come on, let's go to bed. Come on girls. You guys are over there watching the ducks, aren't you? Trying to just gently touch them with the stick to make them realize I'm talking to them. Come on, let's go to bed. Come on, let's go. Let's go to bed. <laughs> I saw you pick at that. Come on, let's go to bed. Come on, let's go. Come on, bedtime. Come on, let's go. Come on, let me tap that a little bit. See if I can't get you to move. Bedtime. Good night. Good night, girls. Good night, girls. Come on. Good night. Good night, girls. Ha <laughs> ha, you're all gonna hide in the corner. Let's see how you 
anymore tonight. Come on. Come on, let's go to bed. Come on, let's all go to bed. Let's see if I can't get one over here. Usually that first one's the hardest. There you go, girls. Good job. Good night. Good job. Yes. Good girls. Go on. Good girls. Go on. Go on. Good girls. Go on. Sometimes they want to try and sneak back out, so I have to shut this. All right. Good girls. All right, ladies. Come to your sisters. Come on. Let's go. Night night. Let's go to bed. Come on. Let's go to bed. Come on. Come on. Look at you hiding in that corner, you little sneakies. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Who's gonna be good girls now? Come on. Oh! You scared your sister. <laughs> Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Yeah, you can do it. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I don't want to frighten the ones already in the coop. So I don't want to tap on this too much anymore. Come on. Let's go. Good girls. Good girls. Yeah. Good girl. Go on. Go on. Go on to bed. Good girl. Good girl. Come on back in. Go on. You got it. Good girl. Good girl. Let me shut that so you don't sneak back out. Who else is going to be a good girl tonight? I've got four more of you, huh? Come on. All right, let's see if I can figure out who's who is under here. It looks like both of my olive eggers are still out. One of my California whites. And one of my sapphire gems. All right. It's enough of a shade under there. I'm not sure who's who. But I'm going to look in the side and poop here. Oh, you girls are good. Look at you roosting. Such good girls. The six that are already in the roost are doing really well. They're sitting right on those roosting bars, having a great time. Getting ready to go to sleep. Sisters are in bed already. There's my sapphire gem. She's so pretty. I'm calling them all girls right now. I know I'm going to end up with at least one rooster because I did not buy all pullets. But that's okay. I'm going to go with positive thinking right now and say they're all girls. Because that means more eggs. Come on, ladies. Let's go to bed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go to bed. Usually, usually my California White and this Sapphire Gem are already up in the bed. Already up in the coop. Come on. Let's go. Why are you hiding in the corner? Let me see if I can entice them over to this corner. I'm going to reach in here and Grab a little pinch full of food. Hi, girls. Okay. Come on. There you go. See what happens. I'm going to give a little bit of grit. See if that'll entice them to come this way. Come on, girls. because I'm recording for you. Sometimes, I think it was two nights ago, I had to actually send my daughter in here to rescue him. So I may have to do that tonight as well. So I think I'm going
going to go ahead and shut the video off and have her go in there and coerce them towards the ramp.